not be precisely defined, but there is tons of scholarship on this topic, some of which is listed in my bibliography in the pinned comment or in the description below, as with every single video I ever make. One might view neoliberalism as simply a revival of calls for small government and globalization to more analytical historians who say it's a resurgence in elite class power. This episode attempts to take a more nuanced view than anything that I've seen on the internet, but we're talking about an economic ideology that has defined the last 40 years, so I can never be comprehensive. Either way, there are some specific characteristics that unify it, which are emphasis on individuality and rejection of groups, market liberalism and fiscal conservatism, which is kind of the same thing, privatization of public goods and infrastructure, deregulating government controls on corporate excess, austerity measures against welfare, and free trade agreements that allow for more rapid globalization. Some politicians may not fit these precisely, and that's why neoliberalism isn't just some specific ideology. It's the entire economic paradigm the U.S. has been in since at least the Reagan administration. As you will see, there is no concrete definition, nor even a starting point. It's hazy. If you have trouble with that ambiguity, well, that's just what good history is. Embrace the suck. I had to take an entire grad class oriented around these questions. So yeah, capitalism is not a static thing, and neoliberalism is but a permutation of it.